Hey guys, Ashley here, and I'm going to share with you what my realistic nighttime routine is and some of the products that you can also get. So first step is to just always take off whatever is on your face. You've been traveling all day, you've been on a plane, a train, whatever it is, you wanna take everything off. Your skin's been exposed to elements and germs, so this is a super important step. So we're gonna pull our hair back, so it's not on our face. And my first product is always a face wipe. I love traveling with these. I know they're not the most environmentally friendly, um, but they are essential uh, for kind of the logistics of traveling, the re realities of traveling, I should say. So this is Ursa Major. Um, I love her stuff. It's a four-in-one face wipe, so it is a clean cleanser, an exfoliator. It soothes your skin and it hydrates. So it's awesome. This is usually a refreshing step, no matter what's on your face. What do I do next? I evaluate if I have any blemishes on my skin. I have a Thayer's Blemish Stick, which is Witch Hazel. And this is like a hero roller to travel with. It can be an antiseptic if you have any cuts, it's all natural, it's awesome, it's in this nice little glass container so it's durable. Uh, so I just apply this usually to my chin area or if I have any other um, acne spots that I can tell are coming, that's that. I then put on a serum, so this brand I love, it's called Exo Treatment Room and it was started by a woman in Calgary. She's actually a chemist and Calgary has some of the most arid, dry air. So she was finding that all of the other moisturizers out there were just drying out, or they were sucking out of everything that was just in her skin, um, or what was left of the moisture. So this is great because it's basically like made from clean cabins um, and any sort of really dry climate. So it's specially formulated uh, to help re-moisturize your skin. It's called, it's a serum called Atomic Calm. So I put this on every morning and night. And she told me something super interesting that, you know, when a product's labeled as organic, yes, like there are different labels, but water is technically a chemical. So just because something has a chemical in it doesn't mean it's necessarily bad for you. Uh, you just want to do your research and still look at the ingredients, but just because you might not recognize what it is. It doesn't mean it's all bad. My next step is to use a um, tonic spray, which I love these. These are just great to spritz on you when you need to. So it's a facial mist. This is coconut water uh, by Herbivore. I believe there's some rose and hibiscus. I love these, it just refreshes, kind of sets the serum as well. And then this is a Pharmaesthetics moisturizer. I love the size. It's lavender, anything with a scent or essential oils. I like traveling with because it just reminds you of home and it's just wholesome, good skincare. So that's my moisturizer. I rub whatever's left on my hands. Usually I try and bring some hand lotion as well, put that on before bed. Kind of relax, wind down. If there is a kettle, I'll make myself some tea. We don't have one here. And so that is what I kind of sit with. And I'll brush my teeth, which I'll spare you that detail. But um, I love Quip. I travel with these. They're great, um, reusable, battery powered toothbrush. Now my last two steps for the skincare portion are a sleep mask. Uh, this is not an actual eye mask, but a skin mask. And it's, from, it's called Lunar Veil, vale, and it is from the same uh, Calgary-based brand I was talking about called Exo Treatment Room. Again, I love her stuff. I believe Oprah has mentioned this in her magazine. So to use, perform your regular evening skincare routine and seal it in with a light barrier of Lunar Veil. Veil, leave overnight, rinse in the morning. So it's this pretty translucent, translucent mask and it smells amazing. 
Uh, if you read any of our tip articles, smells are the number one thing to help make you feel more at home and more comfortable. So this is definitely one of those things for me. I would put way more on than I should because I love the smell so much. So that's one, two, three, four products that do double duty, five um, for your extra nighttime skin routine. Uh, so it's great, they don't take up a lot of space, use them in morning and the night. My last step is adding some lip balm, especially in the winter, I have super dry lips. So I add a layer of that. I'll take you through a few other things, tips and tricks I do to stay comfy um, and make my nighttime routine feel more like home. Okay, so I'm also into doing some yoga poses before bed. So I will walk you through a quick nighttime yoga routine. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let us know what tips you have for your travel nighttime routine. Any products you love, comment about those. And always, as always, like and subscribe to Smarter Travel. Good night.